detachment, transcendence, and a vote for the victory of the human spirit over futility with a little bit of humor. That's the overall theme. Always has been. Night <laughs> falls on the outskirts of town. One day over this morning. Feel like a visitor in my skin. I met Mick in 1969. The first time Mick showed up at a jam, he came in, we were playing the blues, and he kind of played a little bit, and my brother took him outside and said, dude, you need to go home and learn how to play, because he was terrible. To his credit, he went home and practiced his ass off, and about three months or so later, he came back, and he could play. We've always given each other permission to tell each other that you're full of shit. And I don't know what that is you just played, but that sucked. But that makes the music better. <laughs> I met him sometime in the 80s, you know? Sometime in the 80s. I mean, that was a lost, that was a lost decade for both of us. He's a singer-songwriter, and I love his songs, and that's what I like to do. I accompany singers and songwriters. And he's a hard-working dude, that guy. Spend my life in a recording studio with a pair of headphones yeah. on behind a control board. As we are only here now as we have ever been, as we return to the time and place of the origin again and again. And I finally lay down, I lay down my cup of cake. Recording at its best, I think, is like taking a snapshot of a good performance. To my doctor and he said, boy, you gotta get over And that Nick, he needed a guitar that I had to record his last record. So he came over and he borrowed it. And then he needed a mandolin on one track. And then I just joined the band. The first gig was here that I did with Mick and the Maniacs. <laughs> Very, very, very lucky guy. Who, at the end of his life, regardless of how much money he makes or doesn't make, or recognition he gets or doesn't get, get, will have for himself that he did what he was told was impossible, which was rhyming something in the English language with orange. Silence, they're killing the atmosphere. Well, do I need to, uh, like, ham it up more or be more demonstrative or act better? You can't wear makeup if you don't have hair, normal hair.